My topic is about bike GPS. It's accurate localization of sharing bikes in street canyons while low level GPS correlations and uh, unconjunction from Chinese academic sciences. Uh, let's look, first look at some pictures of sharing bikes. In China, we can see there are many sharing bikes. In the US, uh, the Lime, the, o, uh, the OFO, and the Mobike. Of course, in the UK, and uh, in the Canyons, Africa, we can see the sharing bikes. So, this sharing bikes is a new solution to the last mile problems. It's darkness. Uh, it can be draw off and pick up freeness, and the user can book with a bike with app and find with GPS. The operators can find out service bikes for maintenance by GPS. So uh, it has grown rapidly right now. In the United States, the bike sharing reports show that the dogness sharing bikes have covered 44% of the total bikes. And uh, in China's uh, uncommonly OFO, it has 10 million bikes, and uh, its daily uh, riding is about 32 million years. Okay. Beyond the bikes, there are also some other productions like the electronic scooters and the electronic bicycles. In these productions, the most important part is called the smart lock. It was powered by the solar panels in, and it used to pro, uh, provide GPS positionings and the communication with the central server. Um, however, their localization has some problems. Generally speaking, you can see a bike in the app, but you can't find it. What's the reason? Uh, here is a, the sharing bikes app. You can see your heroes, and you can see um, there might be two bikes here. But when you actually go to here, you can see there are no bikes. Because the, the report location is here, and actually the bikes is here. There's a huge location errors. It might be 320 meters. Why does this happen? This is because the, these bikes are closely parked near the buildings, so it's a much challenge in GPS areas with a large location uh, errors, for example, 200 meters or 70 meters. This, this is what we call the street canyon problems. It was caused by the high-rise buildings which creating uh, the canyon-like environments. Okay, GPS forms best in street canyons because there's a high buildings, uh, we call the mud pass and shadow reflection on GPS signals. Uh, the Chicago downtowns, the mean area is uh, 42 meters, and the Los Angeles areas GPS is available on the 11% traces, and the mean area is 100%, 100 meters. And our case in Shenzhen, China, shows that the GPS motion cannot carry to the true pass, and its max area is larger than 50 meters. So uh, there now have been several methods to compact with the street canyons. The first one is uh, they, use atom, they use some sensors, like the accelerometers, the landmarks, and so on. They can provide a cost locations when GPS is not available, but it has a huge accumulation errors. The second method is called multi-pass detections. It removes the satellites with the multi detection signals, so uh, it can uh, to improve the accuracy. However, sometimes when there are not enough satellites, for example, less than four satellites, it can pro cannot provide a location fixed. The third method is the 3D maps. If you use the surrounding, surrounding buildings, the 3D maps to re reject some of the signal connections. Of course, it is must use the immunization with the, with the reference location to get the 3D, uh, to get the nearby buildings, of course, and uh, accurate 3D maps. The fourth method is called AGPS. It can improve the GPS location accuracy with some information from the GPS servers. Uh, similar to multi-pass, it has to uh, acquire more than four satellites. So this is the current solutions. We are different from them. We want to build a lot of approaches based on cooperative GPS. The basic idea is like this. Uh, suppose here we have three bike nodes, B1, B2, and B3. Uh, these gray parts are buildings, uh, building one, building two, and building three. So suppose that the B1 they can see four satellites, and uh, it, it, it is localized because it has four satellites in view. We can get, its, get locations. Suppose its accuracy is about 30 meters. B2 and B3, they have two buildings beside them, so they can only see three satellites, and they can get their own location themselves. 
So a simple approach is we use localized, localized loads B1 to help B2 and B3 to get a rough location fixed. That's like this. We choose B1 and see the load and transmit its location to B2 and B3. So now they can get a rough location about 40 meters. Uh, it's a best assumption that we first know the distance to B1, B2, and the distance B1, B3. We can, we can make a simple assumption here. Uh, this method de depending a tiny on the localized, method, lo localized loads B1, so there's no contribution for B2 and B3. Um, in the bad case, when all these three loads, B1, B2, B3, cannot be localized, so the whole network cannot get a location fixed. It's a bad case. Uh, our latest our solutions is called uh, can improve, based on this we can present new approaches called bike GPS. We use some raw information like the uh, the satellite receiver ranges and the carry phase and hardware clocks like this. We first use the B2 and B3. They all have three satellites. We project these satellites to B1 the review. So now B1 has many satellites. This is three, at three, at four, it has 10 satellites right now. So you can get a much better accuracy. So for example, 10 meters. Now we project B1 to B2, B3, so they can get a better accuracy too, 20 meters. Based on this, we can see that in this method, we use some the low level information, the raw, raw, uh, raw, raw measurements, raw GPS measurements, is some more fine grains and explore some uh, low information for all nodes to join our optimizations, so it can be much more accurate. Uh, the outline of bike GPS can follow two parts. The first one is network constructions. We first have to find out all the lo bike loads, B1, B2, B3, and B4. Then we measure the distances of these bikes, B1 to B2, B1 to B3, and so on. The next part is the raw, me raw measurement level corporations. We use all the RM information to get a network initialization. Uh, let's first to the, turn to the step one, the bike load detections. For each bike, he can scan the Wi-Fi and GPS and upload to central servers. We record it as uh, fingerprints. So each bike has a unicode fingerprint. When the crowd users pass through pass the road, you can compare with the fingerprints to see if you can detect the bikes. We just use the similarity to see if it was large and threshold. The second part is called the letter walk measurement. We want to measure the distances and angles between each pair of bikes, like this. A simple, simple uh, case is that one user passed by two bikes like this, so we can estimate the bike distances, angle, directness in this case. The second one is two users pass by two different bikes. For example, the user one walk like this, and user two walk like this. They can they might be have the meeting points, for example, like the building entrance, street corners, and so on. Well, if we can identify the meeting points, so we can estimate the bike distances from the meeting points. We have two examples like this. Here, the, the user one works with the trajectory one, the user two with trajectory two. They have the common road like this, uh, so we can find a best meeting point here. Uh, the other case is two users have the crossing here. So we can find out the crossing like this. Uh, generally, we use the, the hidden maps to find out the meeting point. It was detailed, discussed in my papers. Uh, the third part is the raw measurement correlations. Record that we now have many raw information from different nodes. We want to map to the single nodes. For example, now I want to map B2 to B1. Record that the bike satellite distance are much uh, far greater than bike bike distances. Uh, for example, the bike to distance it might be 20,000 kilometers, and the bike bike distance might be 100 meters. It's far greater than that. So, uh, so B, the distance B one S approximate to B two S plus to uh, and add B one B two times cosine theta. It's a simple math. The last problem is how can we get the seed load realization? It has many raw 
mapped items from different nodes, and uh, they were sampled at different times. So there's uh, many, many variables in here, in, in, our, in our systems. Here, it has uh, the seed loads has 3D location variables, X, Y, Z, and for each, for each items, it has the TB, the clock bias, and the time offset, TC. So each load has two new variables. Suppose we have Q uh, nodes, so there will be two Q variables here. And we present the new uh, asynchronous CTN technologies to solve these problems. This is our equations. So I will not discuss here now. You can turn to my papers for, for the details. We evaluate our systems in the real experiment with the Google Pixel phones uh, to get the GPS raw information. The current users also sample the Wi-Fi accelerometers and campers to get the fingerprints. Uh, the experiment scenarios have two areas. The residential areas, we have 12 bikes like this. Uh, the four bikes can provide their own information. We treat it as uh, seed nodes. The business areas, there's 11 bikes, of course, uh, there are also uh, four city loads. We first evaluate the location accuracy. We compare it with the independent GPS. That is to say each load relies on its own GPS. So uh, there it has only four bikes can get information, the load four, load five, load seven, and load 10. They can get the information, and uh, the average location accuracy is around 60 meters. Of course, we have the other node nerve cooperation with the best CB nodes, node 7, or all the four solar nodes, node 4, 5, 7, 10, they can get, they can get the node nerve correlations. We also have that other systems like GPS. We can achieve the best accuracy here. The, this is the black lines, and uh, we find that it's, it's uh, almost 2.9 times improvement to the raw GPS. For the business areas, it's about uh, uh, 4.8 times improvement. For the network changes, we remove the seed loads step by step. We've, uh, after we remove the zeros to three seed loads, we found that the black GPS performs stabilness with uh, around 20 meters degrees uh, accuracy, and other methods decrease significantly. Also, the bike GPS works even when all the four seed nodes are removed. There's no seed nodes, but we can provide a better uh, 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 useful location references. This is because we can get enough raw measurements from the, the whole networks, so it can be very useful from the very harsh environments when the, uh, there's no seed nodes. Uh, so we also measurements our networks, so the topology is from the sensors fit wheels with the ground truth. And uh, the lateral accuracy is around 21.8 meters on average. So it's uh, the low detection accuracy. We also add some noise to the networks. For each bike node, we add 40 meters distance errors and 60 degree angle errors. We found that the bike GPS, the black lines, perform the best all the times with the medium's accuracy, 32 meters. Uh, similarly, uh, it's in the base areas, it's very similar. In general, we present the RM level GPS correlation method to solve the street, street canyon problems. It in, in component, two components, network construction and uh, the network localizations. Experiment on real data sets shows that it can provide at least 2.9 times accuracy improvement with the bad network size and noise adaptabilities. Uh, thank you for your information.